From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, everyone, I'm Mark J. Weather on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. A mainly clear overnight sky. It's going to be cooler, though. You're going to notice temps bottoming out in the lower and middle 50s inland, closer to 60 for Cleveland. And tomorrow, a little hint of fall in the air. 72, we'll see abundant amounts of sunshine during the afternoon hours and morning. Browns game Sunday, 68 at kickoff, 70 at halftime, 68 for the fourth quarter. That's picture perfect weather. Some people like snow for football, not me. 54 tonight for Akron will go 73 tomorrow. Sunshine and cooler Friday. Isolated shower, 74. Dry Saturday. Isolated shower south on Sunday, 71. Rob? Mark, let's take a look at today's top stories. U.S. Marshals and county deputies are on the hunt for a prisoner who somehow escaped from the Cuyahoga County Jail. Ferdinand Torres Vargas, considered dangerous. Officers, officers spending this day looking for him all over the city. The 31-year-old was behind bars on domestic violence charges. Until last night, that's when he managed to escape. The county isn't telling us how he got out. Police have arrested a suspect nearly five months after 14-year-old Jonathan Menard was found buried in a shallow grave. 30-year-old Matthew Little is facing 15 charges in his death. Investigators say Little's been a person of interest for several months now. Jonathan's family told us the, that Little was the one that picked up the teen and took him to a farm when he disappeared. Just days after warning Ohioans to stop vaping, the Ohio Department of Health says it's confirmed. Three reports of severe lung disease are likely because of vaping. And now it's investigating another 11 possible cases. The three confirmed are all in people ages 18 to 26, all had to be hospitalized. Nationwide, the CDC is looking into 200 possible cases of lung disease linked to vaping in 25 states. For the latest news and weather, go to news5cleveland.com or open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.